One thing I did at a fairly early stage was uh, try and work out a way of fairly inexpensively doing some division in the lathe. Not having a fancy piece of equipment to do it, I decided to use what I'd got, which is often the case when you're strapped for cash. So the first thing that I had to make, which was to go with two, I'll well show you these, I'll come to the detail in a minute. Uh, that's a gear wheel, that's another gear wheel, modified. Now, the idea was to find a way of fitting these gear wheels for division into the rear of the headstock spindle. This meant having an arbor, an expanding arbor, which would hold both in the spindle and then secure the uh, gear wheel. So what we've got is this piece is machined from solid and uh, it has that we can actually see, whoops, I'm getting mirror effect here. Sitting saw cuts, both ends. And there's a hole in the side there for a, to put in a piece of bar for tightening. All it is, like most expanders, uh, we've got a uh, cone end piece which is bored and tapped which goes in that end then we've got a draw rod oh first of all <laughs> let's put the uh, smaller cone expander on and a washer and the uh, tightening nut put those inside the arbor tighten that down just till it catches all right so there's the complete unit now dealing first with the uh, 72 tooth gear wheel which fits fits on the arbor like that the uh, 72 tooth is very convenient you can divide by six two three four and the marks that are on here which might uh, show up well you can see there are eight white marks you might just about see six red marks and all around the outside I don't know where this is going to stay focused around the outside here there are engraved numbers on each tooth So with a suitable detent pin, we'll show a close up of that after I've done these. Something that's going to go in a tooth and uh, register the position and then uh, locate it. All right, that's a, this, that's a simple piece again turned out of solid, threaded and uh, with a tightening collar with a bar. Now this wheel is a little more interesting. I don't think there's no marking extra on it. I wanted to divide by 100 for scribing uh, scale on collars, lead screw collars, something to give me a hundredth type division. So what we did here was we machined all the teeth off. In fact, you can see the numbers 
I engraved on this one. Did the math, uh, took all the teeth off, put in a groove after having done the math to see what size ball bearings I needed to get exactly a hundred. <laughs> it was quite a quite a game getting that sorted out. Uh, so these are embedded in epoxy in the groove and uh, this takes well I've got another close-up this takes another detent which is profiled to suit. The close-up will show that more clearly. So there we are we have two very simple means of division uh, the toothed gear is most useful for shall we say filing flats later on I'll be showing you a very simple filing device uh, but if I wanted to put two flats at 180 four flats to make a square head or even to get a hex and beyond um, very easy to do. The headstock casing has a piece of bar bolted on it and, and you'll see that shortly when I switch over to put it in position to demonstrate. Took a while to get these together, particularly the ball bearing one, but it proved immensely useful and uh, didn't cost me much more than my time. Okay, well there's the uh, detent sitting in one of the gear teeth, which happens to be one of the white, divide by eight positions, and uh, <clears throat> that works pretty well. Well, let's see if we can get a close-up of the ball bearing one. Okay, well there's a close-up of the uh, divide by hundred ring with the ball bearings, and you can see the detent is uh, contoured to basically fit between each bearing. It's pretty accurate and uh, we'll set it up on the lathe in a moment and show it in use just to give you some idea. It's slow but it's accurate and it's versatile as well which is you know the main thing. Now this is the business end of the uh, dividing system which I reiterate is very very basic. So here we've got the uh, arbor, the expanding arbor. I didn't add before by the way, although it's pretty obvious the uh, slots there are done by a slitting saw. So if you put that in the spindle, which just as a reminder from having done it before, these roll pins that are in the spindle engage in a big roll pin on my manual handle which sometimes is a very useful device. So here's our arbor and uh, we'll put the gear wheel on. The principle is identical of course for the uh, Full bearing wheel. So I'll put that on there. Crank it up. Get it pretty tight so it expands. There we are. Now here's the uh, detent. And darn wind again. <laughs> There we are, we're in position. We can lock it if we want to. So we've got zero to 72 points at which we can register the spindle and therefore the work on the other end. And just whilst I'm here, I'll just point out this was a spare chunk of aluminum and a very simple steel boss. If I put that in here, which is the end of the spindle shaft, it gives me an option. Oh, 
It ain't gonna turn because I've got this in here. <laughs> here we go. So I can turn the motor spindle independently, which occasionally I need to do. I'm just gonna lock it up again just to get that out. There we go. I don't use that very often, but now and again I do need to turn the system from the uh, motor spindle. So that basically is it. Take that off, put the uh, ball bearing one on, which gives me 0 to 100 division. And it's a <coughs> very useful facility. Hasn't been used much, but it was worth the time making and uh, never regretted it. It was just very slow to use, but it was very accurate. If you hear the wind howling, it's because it's windy. Beautiful sunny day, but windy. Okay, there's a piece of hex uh, brass in the three jaw. And from the position I'm in on the gear wheel, which I say is uh, 72 division, if I bring the day tent up and rotate one tooth, two, three, four, that's six. And that should be a division of a twelfth. Six twelves are seventy-two, even now. So there you are. If I go another six, just undo that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not going by the numbers, which I normally would for accuracy. And there we are, that's another twelfth. So as you can see, it works pretty well. Um, I could have a setup on the uh, vertical slide. I could be doing something from the tailstock or just machining flats at intervals. It works very well. Okay, well that's it for that one. I spent a bit of time on it, but hopefully it'll prove that you can get round problems even if you're going to have slower work at the end of it. And uh, the next thing we'll do is one of the other gizmos